I'm gonna try to do something that's completely outside of my norm and do a short video. So let's get to unboxing this. Let's not waste any time. Uh, I do want to thank everybody that bookmarks my Amazon link and clicks it before checking out because that's how I was able to get this with pretty much just a few dollars out of my pocket. So thank you guys very much. I <laughs> This is amazing that this is even possible. All right, so this model was three ninety nine. I was in the, I was looking around for a little netbook I could carry around and take places. And if I want to root phones, I, you know, I have a G seventy four SX through ASUS and I love it, but it's got a monitor hooked up to it and about thirty cables coming out of it. So it's a pain in the butt trying to get it off of the cooling stand and and use it portably. It's pretty much a desktop. So uh, this thing comes with accidental drop protection. But I actually went ahead and got two years through Square Trade through their accidental drop protection. So I've never dealt with ASUS or Square Trade as far as accidental drop protection goes. If you have, please drop me a comment below and let me know how your experience went. I would be very interested in hearing from you. Um, so I'd probably use ASUS for the first year if I accidentally dropped it. And after that, I would use my Square Trade warranty. It was like 80 bucks because this was 399. So. This is the X202E, but I was looking for a netbook, something small to carry around, and I found one that was like 279 through ASUS, but it had two gigs of RAM and you couldn't upgrade it, it was soldered on. And so the more I looked, I found this one right here. And it's, um, yeah, it, it, it's a touchscreen, four gigs of RAM. ASUS tweeted me and said that you can upgrade it. And on Micro Center, uh, it's a place that's in Overland Park, Kansas. It's uh, about 30 minutes away from Kansas City, Missouri. They say you can upgrade it to 8 gigs of RAM. So uh, it comes with 4 gigs of RAM, a uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive. Oh, and I am getting an SSD. I think it's in the mail. I don't know. It's a review unit. And I'm going to put it in here. So stay tuned for that. And please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, it's an 11.6 inch screen. 1366 by 768 so that's pretty cool it's hd and it has a usb 3.0 port which is a big big plus to me because i love usb 3.0 so i know i'm carrying on let's let's do it let's let's cut this let's get it out of here and end this video that is light that is awesome all right, so you get some um, warranty card. You get declaration of conformity. Uh, this little thing right here, not sure what that is. You get a micro uh, fiber cleaning cloth with a Seuss branding on it. That's awesome. Um, da -da -dum. Inspiring I get okay. It's like an instruction book on how to operate it and then under here Aha I have found you oh Man, oh man, let me let me put this back in here. Hold on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that back in there, too This is amazing and awesome This is not like the traditional charger that I'm used to when it comes to like laptops. This is almost like a phone or tablet charger and it's got a little Velcro thing so you can, you know, keep it nice and uh, organized for travel. Dude, you just stick this in the wall by itself and it's not like all the other chargers I've had for laptops where you have to have two separate things. You just plug that right into the wall. I guess the only downside I could see is if you have like a hub or like a six way and all your, you know, outlets are really close to each other. Well, that's not too far. If you set it down in there, it's not too wide. But I mean, that's really freaking awesome. I'm going to look at something real quick. All right. It's 19 volts at 1.75 amps. Yeah. 19 volts at 1.75 amps. So... Without further ado, I'm freaking excited, and I cannot wait to turn this thing on. I can't wait to upgrade it to an SSD, and I can't wait to see if the RAM is upgradable. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I freaking love it. Oh, man. I haven't had a new laptop since uh, tax time of 2012 when I got my G74SX. Okay, so the keyboard. The keyboard is your... Standard size keyboard, I guess. It feels really good typing so far. Uh, 
Nice big shift key, very cool. Big backspace key. The shift is big on both sides, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, this is the Intel Pentium dual core model with a 1.8 gigahertz uh, processor. It has Sonic Master Sound. It looks like it has light indicators down here at the bottom right. One, two, three, four, five. Like a lock and a battery and whatever else there is. Let's go ahead and close it and look around the side here. My next upgrade is definitely going to be the 8 to, I believe, 16 lens. I can't remember who makes it, but I this is the most I can focus this thing. It's I have a kit lens, like 18, 135, something like that. So it has to be at least 18 millimeters or whatever it is away. So it's, it's the best focus I can get for now. But you have this uh, Ethernet thing. It looks like it just comes out and goes right back in, spring-loaded. There's for your power, HDMI, USB 3.0. I love it. USB 3.0, uh, it's just amazingly fast. Way uh, USB 2.0, I can't stand using it anymore. Anyways, so USB 2.0, your Kensington lock. It looks... Like that, yeah, that's a speaker it looks like because it's got it on both sides. It's got rubber feet on the bottom. There's no access to anything to upgrade the RAM. If it's not soldered on, you've got to take off these screws and pull the whole back off to get to it. I'm going to do that actually. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do that and see if I can upgrade the RAM because uh, I have eight gigs that I could go ahead and throw in it today and upgrade it. So you've got the SD card slot, another USB through uh, 2.0 slot, VGA, which is cool because you never know if you're going to find yourself in a situation where you have a VGA display that you need to share your screen on and it only has HDMI, but this one has HDMI and VGA, so that's really, really cool. And then you have your, you know, combo microphone headset port. Now, before I turn this on, I'm actually going to load Clonezilla on a flash drive and I'm going to copy the hard drive onto my 64 gig USB 3.0 flash drive. That way, uh, if I need to go back, I can just restore that Clonezilla without using the default thing. So give me just a minute to go do that. I was unable to back up the hard drive as an image with Clonezilla because of the fact that this thing has a secure boot, UEFI, and you actually have to set the computer up, log into Windows, get to your desktop, and then go to your settings and find the advanced startup options and disable secure boot and enable legacy USB support so that way you can boot from the flash drive and use Clonezilla or like install another operating system or something. All right, so I plugged it in. I went to, to go ahead and boot from a flash drive, but Windows 8 has that secure boot and it <laughs> it wouldn't work. So we're just gonna hopefully it's, there'll be a thing where you can like back up your hard your hard drive. Like on my G74SX, I was able to put them onto three DVDs. So hopefully you can do that on a flash drive or something with this model. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this will be the actual very first boot that this thing has ever done. So the screen only goes that far back, and it is touch screen. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. All I did was press power, escape, and I went to the flash drive and it said secure boot. So. All right, so we're gonna see the very first boot up, and I know it's already gonna be probably longer than I wanted it to be, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's hard to unbox something, show the first boot up, and talk about everything in just a few minutes. So display, English, next, and then my country, US, next, and I accept next cuz who who reads that? <laughs> uh I want green or this one. I'll choose this one. And then this is going to be um PC name. What would Josh do? Next. And then uh please pick up the 5 gigahertz, please. I'm sick of having laptops and phones that don't pick it up. All right, sorry, the video was pretty bright, so you weren't see, seeing a lot of that. But no, it doesn't look like it has the 5 gigahertz network, so that's a bummer. All right, so I went ahead and just... Uh, 
I didn't know you could sign in without a Windows Live ID, and I don't like. I, I want to sign in without one. <laughs> This is why I'm freaking loving having a touchscreen laptop. Like, in all seriousness, Windows 8 is like, you know, asking you to touch it. It's just like everything, all the icons, it's just like, like it's meant to be a touchscreen OS. Oh, okay, so I can't really do anything. It's just kind of walking me through it. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all this. This thing is very, very quiet. I can't even tell that it's running, to be honest with you. All right, there we go. So if you swipe in from this screen, you can hit start and it should launch all your apps. Or we're already at the start screen, so like we'll go to the desktop and well, that's cool. Uh, da -da -da -da, so start, oh cool. And then you can just like tap on Internet Exploder and then whenever it loads up, we can install Firefox. I mean, this is awesome. I can't tell you like how much better this is than using like a freaking, you know, oh, I got to go all the way up here with my mouse and then all the way back down here and. This is freaking awesome. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the computer. Right click, choose properties, and it gets a 4.3. There you go, you can see it better now. So it's a 64-bit operating system, 64-bit processor, Full Windows Touch support with 10 point test with 10 gesture points. Dude, that's really cool. That's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna click on the Windows experience real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video because I don't want it to be much longer than this. So the lowest thing is the graphics. Uh, whenever I put an SSD in there, uh, it's gonna of course make that really fast. So stay tuned for those videos. If you enjoyed my videos, please make sure you subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. That's all I ask. This is what would Josh do? And I'm out. Remember, more videos of this is coming very soon. I'm on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, PSN, Xbox Live, pretty much everything. Just search www.joshdew or www.joshdo. I'm out. All right, so here's actually where I opened it. The hard drive is very easy to swap out and like change with an SSD or another hard drive or something. The RAM is soldered on. You can see that at the top right of one of the pictures. And in the description below, I will post a link to an Image UR album where it has a bunch of high resolution photos. So you can click on each one individually. So the RAM is not replaceable, but the hard drive is. I'm out.